Um, oh yeah, but speaking of that of that clip of um, him walking out the Taylor stuff in the locker room, I do want to I do want to share it on. I want to screen share this one as well because I I want to point something out that was just so funny to me. Let's see. Okay. All right, let's watch this. Okay. Hey, how you doing? Going? Look at that. Do you see him? Yeah. Look at that side eye. <laughs> that where you're like, they don't fuck it up, man. I'm trying to score. <laughs> you're like, don't embarrass me. <laughs> you're He's not happy. And, and Taylor Swift's a pretty private person with her life, so – she, you, you he can probably, he probably knows him. that his teammates are probably behind the camera, like snickering, you know, like hooting him off. <laughs> He's like, Hey, man, so let's screw this up for me. I don't want to think I'm some kind of creep or some kind of he, doesn't, he does look like a douchebag. No, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I feel like everyone's saying he's a douchebag, but at the same time, I really. On the field, you could you could say every NFL player is a douchebag, but all you know, I haven't seen him off the field where he's he's done anything stupid, you know. Um, considering that I know her dating history, like you know, she dated Jalen Hall, she dated Harry Styles, she allegedly dated Matt Healy from this the 1975. I would have never guessed that Travis Kelsey was her type. No. No, yeah, and then she even, they, even dated like posh hey, British guy too. Yeah. Hey, it might it might work out. They might be uh married one day and have some kids. Be be That's... some great volleyball players, I'll tell you that. Yeah, because people forget that Taylor Swift is really tall, like five eleven. Yeah, bro. That's like that's like that's pretty tall. Like most girls are not that tall. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm just like yeah. laughing. I just remember watching this, like, dude, he's just like Hey, I'm, I'm hey, don't screw this up for me. Like, you know, like that <laughs> Billy Madison quote he's in the bus. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to expect of this relationship. I hope, I hope it's, I hope they have fun, they enjoy some time together. Um, do you think she'll make a song if they break up, or is that, is that kind of out of the question? 100%. She's gonna make a song no matter what. So, I mean, if, if they're with each other song they're not with each other song what, what, what would what would be your uh, guesses of a song that would be about travis kelsey so don't call me conspiracy theorist well, janelle just... home janelle no she's not home oh i was gonna say maybe we should get her involved and see what yeah, her thoughts so, oh song. she 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 has she was she was saying because he, he's number 87, right? Yeah. She she sung about 87, some football player wearing 87 in her 1989 album. Something like that. Don't quote me, but something with the 87 jersey that's already happened. So, I, but the song, I feel like it's going to be like the jock song, you know? She's like, she's going to be like the nerdy nerdy school girl like in high school and he's gonna yeah, be the so big not guy. a nerdy school girl <laughs> i don't know man i don't know <laughs> if i were to make some guesses of song I'll, I'll try to think of five on the flop i think one song will be called 87 just like the name of his jersey okay fair. maybe the, a second song will be the chief because he plays for the chiefs <laughs> um, very creative aj go on okay um i'm trying to think uh i Maybe this is kind of a stretch, but maybe we'll sho shove a song called Heights, like named after his podcast. Oh, hey, I don't listen to that podcast, but that podcast is so funny. Hopefully, it didn't say anything dirty because those Taylor Swift fans they will find it. Yeah, um, okay, let's see. Two more ideas. He she could write a song about him. Um, I'm still looking at this this pause of him just staring at the camera um it's a dead stare <laughs> yeah um gosh maybe uh i don't know end zone because you know he plays football he gets there a lot arguably the the second best tight end ever who's the first Gronk. Gronk is always a what if for me because he's been injured so much. I think wow. Travis Kelsey will finish 
said and done, will be the best tight end in, in NFL. Think so? Oh, yeah. Um, gosh, uh, I got to think of one more. Um, Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey. I'm trying to think of things that are punny with Kelsey or Travis. Yeah, I think 87 would be the name of the song, honestly. I do like the Chief. I think that that's a. I think that's the coolest name for a song. The Chief. That's a cool name. Chiefs have a great name. I I, I love watching the Chief games because those, those chants and everything. I love it. You know, especially in the beginning of the game. Like, ring yeah. That ballad, yeah. My, it is. My favorite NFL team name to this day is still the Washington Foreskins. <laughs> hey, tell it to the new owners. I heard they're trying to change the name to something else gosh dude that's just oh that's another team that's a dumpster fire yeah a lot of dumpster fires right now well anyway well shout out to taylor Swift and travis kelsey i hope i hope things go pretty smooth for them um but yeah i, I know you're talking about i saw this clip where it's like mahomes looking at the press box and he did like this like awkward wave at the <laughs> yeah <press box. laughs> oh. i wonder I mean, either um, go on I wonder if like her and Brittany Mahomes will hang out. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, the way that she was chanting at the game, it sounds like they'd be they'd be a good match. I mean, they they both get loud and like to scream for their boys. Yeah, that's true. Um, oh God, I hope I don't see a Jackson Mahomes and Taylor Swift collaboration on TikTok. Wow. Don't say that, man. Don't.